What's up, Virgo? I hope everybody's having a great week. We are going to get right into your reading. In terms of love, um, take what resonates. Never force anything to fit, as most of you know. But always include your rising, your Venus, and your moon sign readings for additional clarity and messages that you feel drawn to receive. This is going to be who is coming towards you. Who is showing up on your path? As most of you know, I'm giving away two free personal readings this month. So if you are new, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam and welcome to my channel. By subscribing, you can take part in the monthly giveaways. So go ahead and subscribe and new and returning leave a rainbow emoji or the word rainbow in the comment section. At the end of each and every month, I randomly choose those people to win and then reach out to you through YouTube. All right, let's get into it. You know what? I'm going to show you Wish Granted because as I was shuffling the deck, that wanted to come out with the fireworks. So I'm almost feeling like an adventure in terms of your love life. Things that you have dealt with that may have seemed deceiving or disappointing. Um, you might have had high expectations for something specific and it went as different. It's like you're shedding the pain. Brand new chapter in your life. Um, and it's like you've got a higher, almost like an aha moment that those things that you've went through, that those struggles, you have got such growth and wisdom within you. And it's like you're setting the bar higher for what you want in terms of love. The future, look at this. What have you been manifesting? What type of relationship, possibly someone specific, but I feel long-term potential coming your way. And expression. Yeah, somebody else got expression. Um, maybe cancer? Someone about to open up and tell you how they feel. There is going to be communication. And like I said, as I was shuffling, this kept popping out. So it's only synchronistic that it's at the bottom of the deck. A wish granted. Let's see what else. Virgo, I'm going to pick from um, multiple decks to make it as accurate as possible, as personal as possible. So, yes, Cancer got these two, I believe. That's why I always say watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement. Do you see how, like, dull, stagnant, ending, but you see that light in the distance about to rise? There is potential coming your way, and I do feel long-term potential. Someone's going to take a risk, come towards you, extend themselves to you, communicate to you. All right, thank you, Spirit. Healing your inner child. Living life to the fullest. Being ready and open for this brand new adventure. I really feel for some of you, you're shedding things of the old. And you're getting excited for what the present energy is surrounding you and moving into the future. If you had someone specific or had a specific question in your mind coming into this reading, the answer is yes. Yes and wish granted at the bottom of both decks. Guys, very positive energy right here. I love it. All right, let's see what else we can get for you. I really feel you've manifested You've planted the seeds of what you want in a partner and long term. And I feel such growth happening. All right, spirit for my Virgos, present energy that my Virgos are in, in terms of love. Ready to take a leap of faith towards something magical. You see the unicorns right there, yin and yang. Something coming towards you, very magical. And you want 
to take that leap of faith. Look at this, Virgo. Passion, love. King and Queen of Wands. Virgo, there might be two people showing up on your path. Let's see. Spirit, what is coming towards Virgo in terms of love? Who is coming towards Virgo in terms of love? Six of Pentacles in reverse. I really feel someone who was not able to be all in. Someone who... It was, you know, like I said, you planted those seeds and it wasn't reciprocated. It wasn't balanced. It was more of a give, more of a give and a give and a give and not receiving anything in return. All right, let's see. Spirit, please clarify the six of pentacles for who is showing up. Look at this. I really feel for some of you, it's like you might have been dealing with someone where you may have had someone else, they may have had someone else. You might have been leaving a long-term connection, both of you or one of you. But there is a breakthrough here for you and this person. What is the past energy in terms of Virgo's love life? Thank you, Spirit. the moon suffering in silence keeping your feelings and your emotions to yourself possibly keeping your heartbreak to yourself Virgo I feel for some of you you might have moved on but your feelings are still with someone else your mind is still somewhere else not letting too many people know that you still miss someone I feel like there is about to be light shed on your love life. What is the present energy spirit for Virgo in terms of love? All right, we'll take them. They all flipped over. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, there is someone holding, holding out, but they cannot stop thinking about you. Whatever it is that lies as a burden between you and this person showing up, um... It's creating that stalemate type energy. There's no movement as of right now. I feel that there is a retreat on both your ends. But the future looks promising for both of you. Spirit, what does the future hold for Virgo and this person showing up in this reading? Someone coming in very, very slow, but coming in very grounded. This person is definitely working on themselves as we speak. Yeah, this is divinely guided. There is someone coming in with an offer, but I feel that there is something that they needed to close out. Now, you may know this person and was going through a tough time when you met them, may have had certain cycles that they needed to face head on and finally close the door on, finally close the chapter on. Obviously, you can see within this card, divorce certificate, divorce certificate, and then the ring is here. So for some of you, it's going to be an ending of another connection to be with you or freeing themselves of other things for themselves to come towards you but I do feel you're getting your chance. Four of Cups. This person hasn't been able to move on from you, and I, and I feel entirely you have not been able to move on from them. You may have someone in your life or be entertaining multiple people, but your mind and your feelings are with someone else. This is divinely guided. In traditional tarot, it is that person that sits on a cliff um, with their arms folded, with their head down, what you don't see is it's coming in from a cloud and it is a cup. So it is the, a divinely guided offer coming from this person. 
I feel that there was passion, there was chemistry between you and this person. But I, I, I truly feel when they entered your life, it, it was, they may have thought, I feel, I, I just feel broken promises is what I'm getting. And I just heard, I'll come back for you. I will come back for you. Spirit, please clarify the Page of Wands as Virgo's energy. Yeah. You're thinking of someone of the past. And when this person surfaces, you are going to take that leap of faith. Please clarify the person showing up in Virgo's energy. Yeah, they, they view you as a wish fulfillment. Just as it showed up as the wish granted here, you were an adventure for them. Something so exciting. Yeah, it's coming in. They're going to reach out to you. Could be a fellow earth sign. I'm getting earth, air, and fire. But then with the moon here, Cancer. So take it how it resonates. Spirit, what is the message that they have for Virgo? Four of Cups twice. Look, it is a cosmic shift of the universe for the, to align the two of you together. You've been through your struggles, both of you. Both of you have gone through tests of faith. Neither one of you want to give up on this connection. I feel you're very slow moving, but you are making your way towards one another. I feel both of you have had to spend some time focusing on your inner child. You know, um, healing things of the past. Maybe even going through a long-term connection on both your sides. Coming together and it just was not the right time. You know... Both of you still some had some wild oats to sow, have some fun, not jump right back into another connection. But this is delayed happiness. So it is coming, but I feel it's slow moving and it is divinely guided. All right, Spirit, why the present energy? Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands. Four of Swords, again, really the focus is overcoming challenges on both your parts. Someone was not able to be all in. I don't feel, I feel that there was regret because of that. It's not like they jumped all in and gave you those broke, broken promises as their intention. Their intention was to be with you. Their intention was to grow with you. But there were certain things in life that just took over. I feel they've always thought about a future with you. All right, Spirit, what does the future hold? Knight of Pentacles, the Empress. Thank you. The Wheel of Fortune, like I said, divinely guided. Overcoming the challenges that exist. Yeah, it is divinely guided. Your universe, your spirit guides, shifting of energy to align the two of you together. All right, let's see what else I can get you. For my Virgos, the person showing up in this reading. The pathway, the growth, the light at the end of the tunnel. Union, such a strong union because of the evolving on both your parts to get there. Yeah, healing and overcoming. I have to say, Virgo, for some of you, this person, because of the challenges, and maybe cross watchers, your Virgo was going through some challenges. You felt like you were on the outside looking in. You know, you had them. You knew you had them. 
There were times that you set out to have certain dates, certain plans, other things got in the way, plans were broken. But I don't feel that was their intention. I really feel you were their main focus. But other things took over. There were things that they needed to close the door on once and for all so that they could, could come towards you. All right, Spirit, what else for Virgo? Yeah, you are getting all the fine things. I definitely feel satisfaction. Yeah, the olive branch is going to be extended. They will communicate. Like I said, they're going to express themselves finally to you. And there it is. Higher level of commitment. Now remember, I was picking up on an extra energy. So either you or them may have had someone else that they were closing the door on. Needing to make a bold decision so that they can make a bold move towards you. But they're doing that. They're finally surrendering to what they feel for you. Yeah, and there is the Wheel of Fortune twice. Look at that. Karma in your favor. Reaping the rewards of what you put forward towards them. In that moment, it may not have been reciprocated. It might have felt unrequited. But they're dancing their way back to you. And they're hoping that you're ready to hear what they have to express. I love it, Virgo. Remember, we had yes in the beginning. So now, coming to the end of this reading, if you had one specific person in mind, the answer is yes. So we have S, O, I, T, D, E, A, R, R. I don't know. You know how on... 101 Dalmatians, no, it wasn't. It was Lady in the Tram, John Deere. That just made me think of it. John Deere. That might be what your favorite show. You might have watched that with him. Anyway, take what resonates. Leave the rainbow emoji down below in the comment section. You may even know that this person loves chocolate or they know that you do and they, they come towards you with this offer, this gift to open things up again between the two of you but they want to do it right. All right. So much love and light to you guys. The link to my Etsy shops in the description box, head over there. Anytime you want me to tune into your energy, possibly someone you're thinking about or dealing with. Um, and I will be back for many more readings.